Hello and welcome to part 7 of building a dynamic web community using PHP, MySQL, and Flash created by Flash Building and brought to you by developphp.com and in part 6 we left off we had created our uh, our header file to be dynamic and it snaps to different frames whether the user uh, according to whether the user is logged in or not so if the user is logged in it snaps to frame 3 well first frame it does a check to see if they're logged in it's a little script and it runs a split second and then if they're logged in it snaps to frame 3 if they're not logged in it snaps to frame 2 it shows them the login form there and uh, on frame 3 we have three special buttons for them and we'll probably be adding a couple of more later uh, and if we have to I'll show you how we add them in but right now we have to just put the functionality for those three buttons on frame 3 so all we had was a stop action on this frame 3 when we last left off so we need the functionality for the view profile page to come up edit profile page to come up and the logout mechanism so the logout mechanism will not bring up a new um, a new PHP or HTML page it's just going to run a script it's going to connect to a PHP script and then it's going to communicate back to flash to refresh the browser and log the user out or log the user out and then refresh the browser so let's look at the code for that so to log the user out, we're going to set up the URL variables of uh, the variable name for the URL variables of logout vars, and we're setting this up similar to the two calls to PHP that we made here. There's that first call, and here's the second call when they try and log in, and now here's the third call. We're going to send the call out to PHP once more and we set add an event listener for the complete function on that so when the data comes back from the from the PHP file it will communicate back to this script and when the user presses the logout button here's the event listener for that see logout button you can see our logout button has an instance name here of logout underscore btn so in the script we say logout underscore btn we add the event listener to it the click function and it has a function that is going to fire off of log user out and that is sitting right here so up here we just claim some variables and event listeners and here we have one function and here we have the complete function so this is the first function that runs when they press the button and this is the function that runs after the this script communicates with our PHP script so when they press the button we're going to send the variable postcode of logout to our script and then we're going to send these this variable of logout along with the claiming the URL we're going to send it to and the URL is going to be this file here it's called logout.php let's go ahead and file save as web intersect the root directory in our scripts folder as logout right there with the login script so save that PHP file here no update on links because there's no links in this file so first thing we do in this PHP file so this is the PHP file that that script in Flash is going to communicate with. So first thing we do is claim session start to access any session variables that might be present for that user. And here we say <coughs> we're running an if uh, conditional statement to see if the postcode coming from Flash equals log out. And if it doesn't, then this uh, these sessions won't be destroyed. The session variables. So running this line right here, so we'll say if the postcode equals logout, which it should, we destroy the session variables. And it's very simple to do that using this one little line. And you can check out what this method and function does at uh, php.net. And uh, they have some documentation on how you should use this. And it might differ from what I'm showing you here, but you'll see in just a second I'll prove to you that it works 
and the rest of the functionality of this script is very simple after the first if conditional statement that will destroy the session variables we set up another if and else condition statement that will check to see if the session ID uh, the session ID variable is still set if the session ID variable is still set we print reply message of failure if session ID variable is not set then we replant uh, we reply with the message of success back to the flash file and the exclamation point here or the exclamation mark just claims is not so if is not session is registered ID print reply message of success because we don't want the session to be registered anymore because we would have destroyed it here and if it didn't get destroyed and the session is still set then for the user in this login session then we print we print a reply message of failure back to flash so here you can see in the on complete function of the logout mechanism we listen to the event that target reply message of success and if it is we refresh this page using the javascript method i showed you which uh, needs nothing more than this line here nothing in your html page don't worry about that uh, this will refresh the page and I checked in all major browsers and it works so once they press the logout button if all is good they get logged out we destroy the session variables then this page refreshes itself to show them the site as a non-logged in user would see it whichever page they happen to be on so say they're on the site let's go ahead and log in and I already FTP'd the logout file up so Adam and then put our password log in okay so now we're logged in it says web intersect Adam it gives me my three magic buttons for that the logged in user would see and you can see these are not active yet and see if our new header functionality works so when I press this button it's going to call out to that logout.php script and then the PHP script is going to communicate back to the flash file and let's see if it refreshes the page and indeed logs us out there it is and it works we are now logged out <coughs> sorry we're not we are now logged out and we have the header is now showing us the login form again because the site senses that we are now logged out so it's going to show us everything as a logged out user would see it and the logged in user they see different things it's very simple the way this works and so we have our logout.php script which goes in the scripts directory of our site and we have our new functionality in our flash header and this is sitting on the keyframe that corresponds to the logout button right here's our logout script now when when I in the next set of tutorials uh, I'll be making the edit profile page and the view profile page we'll just go ahead and knock out these three these three buttons so we can get this header functionality finished so once we have the page instead of just calling out to a script these two buttons are gonna call out to open a new URL so we're gonna send them to a new web page where different things are gonna be shown and they can view their profile if they click that URL and they can edit the profile if they click that URL it's that simple so we'll see you in part 8 where we'll continue on down the line knocking this thing out phase by phase and I'll update the zip package to include this logout functionality uh, after I get this video up and everything so if you guys want to get the source package again that has the logout function now you can or you can just wait till I add a few more things alright we'll see you next lesson